Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. You might be able to see that I am a little bit brighter. I added a third light to the two that I have laterally mounted on tripods. Hopefully when I show you a print, it should be a lot better to see it. It's not perfectly color balanced, okay? You know, you will see some variations sometimes. But when I tell you something is neutral, Believe me, it is neutral. But today's little video is going to be rather kind of humorous. And it makes me think of what happened to my son's car and also a friend of ours who had antique cars in his humongous garage, probably like a four-vehicle garage. And these were classic cars from the 30s and 40s, some of them even older, actually. And he was having a lot of trouble with rodents, basically chewing through the cables. And so my son had a similar problem. He lives in an area of Maryland that can be considered semi-rural, although there is a relatively good-sized town next to it. Uh, but still, there are woods behind his house and there are mice. And we assumed they were mice because some of his cables leading to a few of the sensors that these engines today uh, require to operate correctly were chewed up. Now, we talk about printers here, so somehow it's kind of difficult to correlate rodent cable electrical damage with printers. But that is exactly what happened an individual in my Facebook group reported such a case. And um, the repair bill would have been relatively hefty in the $850 realm. And so at that point, especially, let's just say for instance, if I have one of my 3800 or 3880 printers, this was a relatively large printer, um, gets chewed up to the point where it would cost me $850 to repair it. Well, to tell you the truth, I paid like $200 each for them. I bought them used and I got them working. So something like that, you know, you would have to think about whether you should just simply move on and replace it with a brand new printer. But make sure that you store it in an area Make sure you store it in an area that is not going to be prone to uh, damage by rodents, especially tiny little mice. So I'm wondering how this happened. Um, the only way that I can see this happening possibly would be, say for instance, that we don't have that problem where I live, at least not that I can see. There are lots of stray cats outside, so they, I think they control their mouse population quite uh, effectively but not where he lives so say for instance if I had a shed and I have my printers there because maybe my spouse doesn't want all that stuff cluttering the house like I am doing here uh, I would have it on the shed and of course if I leave the door open during a hot day little Mises can get in and eventually cause damage. And I don't know what sort of specific damage was uh, reported, but indeed it would cost way too much money to repair it. Uh, so what can you do? Well, you can possibly protect your printers by putting uh, those nice covers that you can buy. And uh, somebody stated that, how does a mouse climb up that slippery wall most printers have? Well, the problem could also be attributed to the fact that if you do not close your tray when you are done printing, close that cover completely, close the top, everything needs to be closed like you are removing it from the box initially. Mice, critters, vermin are going to get in, especially if you have your printer in an area that is conducive to 
that kind of attack, let's just say. So just so you guys know, it can happen. This is very rare. I had never heard of this prior to seeing this post. And so I would recommend that you guys always keep your printers in an area that can be locked down. When you're done, close everything up. If you even remotely think this could happen to you, just do not allow any access to your printers by these little critters. It's kind of hilarious, yeah, but again, serious because 850 bucks to fix this printer. Yeah, so you really have to either love it or not have the extra maybe $200 to buy an equivalent printer, modern one that is. I would say that the P900 would be the equivalent newest one uh, this person could possibly replace that one with. Well, you know, what can I say? Anyway, I just thought it was a little bit unusual, and I'm glad that I was able to see it, and I'm just bringing it up to you guys, just in case you think that it can ever happen to you. Okay? I cannot imagine that happening here because I have not seen even a bug inside my house for, for years. So anyway, thank you so much again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Keep those mice out of your printers. It could be disastrous. All right. Thank you, and bye-bye, everyone.